testosterone cream versus testosterone injections. Which one's better? Let's talk about it. In today's video, we are going to compare and contrast these two different modalities of testosterone replacement. So first, I'm going to talk about the testosterone cream. Now, it comes in this little device right here. This is called a Toppy Click dispenser. So if you look at it, it actually looks kind of like a deodorant dispenser, and they call it Toppy Click because you click it or you twist it, it makes a click sound. And each time you click it, it dispenses a little bit of medication out of the top. Now, it, it, most people get this in either a cream form or what we refer to as a hydrogel form. The cream is, it's nice. It's very mollifying. It's got a good emollient structure to it, like any other cream that you would use, a lotion-like. And the hydrogel, which is sometimes referred to as a, an atrevis, an atrevis base is the other name for it. That one comes in like a gel-like nature, a little bit gelatinous, almost like a, almost like the, the type of deodorant people put underneath, the gel base type. So that's how that feels. Now, it also typically comes in concentrations of 200 milligrams per milliliter. Now, with that being said, four clicks would equal one milliliter. So it's 200 milligrams per milliliter. Each click would render one fourth of that because it takes four clicks to equal a milliliter. And therefore each click would be 50 milligrams. I also use ones that tend to run 250 milligrams per milliliter. So therefore each click would therefore be 62.5 milligrams. On the other hand, we have testosterone cypionate. Not sure if you can see it there, but this is 200 milligrams per milliliter. And this is a commercial brand. It's from the brand called Alvagen. We sometimes prescribe this one. That one is blended with cotton seed as the carrier oil. We also use compound pharmacies such as South Lake Pharmacy, Taylor Made Compounding, Empower Pharmacy, Reviver X. And those are oftentimes compounded with grapeseed oil, cottonseed oil, or MCT, medium chain triglyceride, as the carrier oil. And again, we typically do those in 200 milligrams per milliliter concentrations. We used to work with some women, and when we did work with women, we typically get them 20 milligrams per milliliter in concentration for their injections, but we don't really work with women anymore. Anyway, those are typically also compounded in grapeseed oil as well. Okay, now that we talked about the different concentrations that these forms come in, let's talk about administration. So historically, the testosterone cream or any form of transdermal testosterone replacement has always been told to apply it to the shoulder, apply it to the chest, apply it to the abdomen. But honestly, you'll get the best bang for your buck, you'll get the best results if you apply this to your scrotal skin. So the studies have showed that scrotal skin actually has about in the ballpark of about eight times more absorption capabilities versus applying it on the torso. On top of that, the scrotal skin is rich. It's very rich in 5-alpha reductase, which is an enzyme that's going to convert testosterone to DHT. And DHT is the downstream product of testosterone production. And it's speculated to be in the ballpark about four to five times more potent than testosterone. In fact, a lot of TRT's benefits doesn't necessarily come directly from the testosterone, but a lot of the benefits of TRT also comes from estradiol and DHT. Furthermore, the half-life of these creams is in the ballpark of about 12 to 16, 12 to 14 hours. With that being said, you will most ideally get the best bang for your buck if you apply it twice a day. Again, you want to apply it twice a day to the scroll skin to get the best bang for your buck. Now, does that mean I have patients that do it once a day? Sure, I do have a subset of patients that do it once a day and feel just fine and have no complaints whatsoever. But I will say the overwhelming majority of our clients who are on the testosterone cream do it twice a day. On the other hand, we have testosterone cypionate right here. It's a little drowned out to the glare, but you get the idea of what I'm talking about. So testosterone cypionate, 200 milligrams per milliliter. Now, some people inject using these insulin syringes. This right here is a 27 gauge half inch insulin syringe. Absolutely great for doing deltoids. If you're lean enough, you could do ventroglute with, with it as well. Some people do it subcutaneously. They'll use smaller insulin syringes, like say like a 29 gauge or a 30 gauge, something of that nature. And other people will do it intramuscular top the leg, intramuscular ventroglute. Now, with that being said, 
it has a half-life of roughly a week. Most people will need to inject at least twice a week, minimally, to get the best results. We do have a subset of patients, very, very few, that do it once a week, and they have no complaints. They feel fine. They feel great. Life's great. Awesome. Good for them. But for the vast, overwhelming majority of patients, injecting two, maybe three times a week is probably going to be where you're at and what's going to keep you the most stable and steady day in, day out. Okay, thanks for watching. That was part one of testosterone cream versus injections. In part two, we will talk about the risks, benefits, pros, cons of cream versus injections. Until next time, thanks.